Hey guys, Stitch and Jewels here. I am making a new video a little unexpectedly today. I wasn't planning on doing one for a while. I figured it would take me quite a while to stitch enough that I could show you any measurable project or progress on any of my projects. However, it is a beautiful day in Denver. It's about 70 degrees right now and sunny. And uh, we basically decided to go for a drive this morning and my husband has a beehive on the west side of Denver so we went over there to go check out the bees and make sure that they were doing okay which they were and from there it's about a 20 minute drive up to my favorite cross stitching store in Denver which is called a stitching shop and I hadn't been there in quite some time uh, because it's not part of my normal to-do list and whatnot so and I've been working so much on these larger projects that I just hadn't needed to go over there uh, in the last several months or so. So we took the time to go up there and say hey and see what was going on. They were actually doing a beginning cross stitching class while I was there, which was pretty neat to see uh, half a dozen ladies in there doing their thing. And so while I was there, uh, there were a few things that I wanted to get done. I showed earlier my, uh, it's an Erica Michaels project which if you do live in the Denver area, Christine at a stitching shop told me that they're gonna be doing a trunk show uh, in a month or two of Erica Michaels uh, stuff. I definitely am interested in seeing this. I love this quote, this Abraham Lincoln quote from his second inaugural address with Charity for All. And I love this and I love the look of it. So I'm definitely gonna make sure that I head over there whenever they have that trunk show and see what else she has available there. But I didn't have, all I had was just the booklet. I didn't have anything else in regards to this. It's a very specialized type um, project. It's not something where I would just get Ada Fabric and DMC thread uh, branching out a little bit for me. And what I ended up getting was uh, Keshel, an antique. I got a 28 count. Uh, it calls for anywhere from a 28 to 36 count, but I figured the 28 count would be a little easier on my my poor eyeballs so that I could see things a little bit better and they went ahead and cut this and searched it for me while I waited and I also picked up <coughs> excuse me um, and I also picked up uh, the thread for this which is unusual because I actually bought Bella Soy Silk uh, for the first time ever which actually from what I understand has been bought by Classic Color Works so it's now that and this is the butterscotch you can see it's it's just so pretty I like it I've never actually stitched with this if you guys have stitched with this before and there are any specific tips that you might have for me uh, in terms of um, just anything in regards to this I've never used this so this is going to be a learning experience and a, it looks like an awful fun learning experience because look at my colors and so I got all these different colors that I'm very excited about. There's only four colors in this pattern, so I don't think it'll take very long, but I, I, just, I just really want this done. I've had this project for forever, and now I'm finally getting started on it, so that makes me happy. Uh, the other thing I got while I was there was um, being part of FlossTube now. I watch a lot of FlossTube, and anytime I see a Lizzie K project on there, I'm just, oh, Lizzie Kate, and I love her stuff more than just about any other designer that's out there. So I went on her website to kind of take a look at everything that she had, and I came across two projects that I really wanted uh, to do. One is a project that is, it's Kit 180, and it is coming out now. Um, in your local retail shop will probably have it anytime. The a stitching shop did not have it uh, today. They are getting it in. It's coming in with like their next order. And the specific piece that I want to do, it's a small, it's like a small circular piece, and it says something like, um, "She believed she could, so she did." And I uh, know a little girl, not my own, but I know a little girl that uh, when I read that, I think of her. So I want to do that for her as a special gift. So I'm very much looking forward to uh, when that comes in. I put it on uh, order with them, so they're going to call me when it comes in and have everything ready for me, so that's going to be awesome. But while I was there, I also uh, picked this up because I saw this on the website. And this is called A Good Marriage, and apparently a lot of people know about this particular one. I did not. Um, then again, I've only been married for seven months, so it probably wasn't something that I looked at before. See my eyeball? Um, that I looked at before. 
And, uh, but I just, I loved it. I love, like I said, I love the Lizzie Kate stuff. I've done a variety of different projects of hers. And I'm actually doing this for my husband's parents who are getting ready to celebrate their 50th wedding anniversary this summer. And I thought this would be a great, uh, gift for them, uh, to show them, um, how much we appreciate them. So I got that. I also, um, it comes with basically just the thread, which, uh, is awesome, but it does not come with the fabric. So I went ahead and picked out some lamb's wool again, 28 count, which, um, the stitching shop did go ahead and cut and serge for me, uh, which I appreciated while I waited. And that was awesome. So that's another project that I, I'm so excited to get started. While I was there, I also picked up for, to hold my small projects, I got this cute little purple. It looks like blue in the thing, but it's actually purple. Um, it's called uh, See Your Stuff, uh, and it's awesome. It's got a little zipper, waterproof and all that. I just, I like this. I think this is gonna be great as a travel for these little projects and stuff. I can just take them with me. I mean, shoot, you can use anything to do it, but I like, I like purple, and I thought this was adorable, so I just went ahead and got it. The piece of news that I found out while I was at a stitching shop today, which was pretty interesting, and maybe you guys have already seen this, but she showed me some fabric that is fairly new out there that is already pre-gridded. Pre so it's actually embedded into the thread, and it's just the standard, you know, the gridding system. But she had it in everything from 14 count up to, I think even like a 32 or a 36 count. Um, fabric and uh, apparently some people are starting to go ahead and make the gridding system embedded into the fabric that's awesome so the next time that I need uh, a uh, I'm doing a you know a bigger project I'm definitely gonna get the gridded stuff because uh, it just would save so much time and uh, looks better and the way that it's embedded in is that basically if you're doing a, a full X, full cross stitch in your project, if it's all full cross stitches, which mine, all my projects are full cross stitches, uh, it's totally hidden and um, you'll never see it. So that was the haul for today. I am excited to start working on some of these today. I'm trying to figure out which one I will start on first. I have the whole afternoon to stitch. We're going to go to a movie tonight, but uh, the afternoon is free and it's a great relaxing day to just go ahead and stitch some. I already stitched a few hours this morning on um, one of the projects that I'm working on. But, so that's, that's, that's my day. I hope you guys are having a good time. I hope you're having fun stitching on this lovely weekend. And I will see you again soon with another video. Take care.